Manchester City this weekend, a tough start, but how do you view that as a season opener? Yeah, I mean, Man City is always going to be a tough team to come up against, um, especially being the first game of the season, but we're just trying to uh, sort of have a new identity and play our way of football and we're hoping that we can sort of take it to them um, rather than sort of sit back and let, <laughs> let them come to us. So uh, it'll be an interesting game. Um, it's always a test in the first game, but uh, yeah, we feel confident. A few familiar faces in the Manchester City team as well, people that you spent all summer with. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start with Alana Kennedy, a really good friend of yours as well. Looking forward to facing her? Yeah, for sure. It's always good to face Lance. Um, we are good friends, but of course we know when to be professional um, when we come up against each other. But uh, after, the, after the game, it's always laughs and friends again. So it'll be interesting, but um, yeah, it's always fun. When do the conversations stop? That's what I want to know. When do you stop talking to each other before a game? Oh, I think we usually say hello before the game and then hello after the game. <laughs> so it's not like a point in the week where you think, no. if she WhatsApps me, I can't reply now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not really like that. I'm sort of quite easygoing and like, um, yeah, keeping a bit lighthearted before, before a game and then just being professional when it comes to starting the game. And Mary Fowler as well, what a World Cup for her. Are you expecting her to have a similar impact in the WSL this season? Yeah, for sure. I hope so. I hope she gets a little bit more game time than she has because you know, she's an unreal player and I think we saw a lot of that in the World Cup and she's definitely up and coming and um, one I think I, I could probably be a little bit worried about. But um, no, I'm really looking forward to that season. I think um, yeah, she's got a lot of success coming her way. At the time I'm speaking to you now, I think it's 13 Australians in the WSL, but the reason I'm hesitant to say that is because it feels like so many more are coming. How good is it, do you think, to see so many of your fellow teammates from country coming over here? And what does it say about the growth of Australian football? Yeah, I think it's incredible for them to you know, take that step. And it's not only in England, but in Europe in general. Um, obviously, the, the football is a little bit different than in Australia. And I think um, for us to take uh, our national team to the next level, it's important for us to get that exposure in you know, professional leagues and um, yeah, I think it's just amazing to see the younger girls coming through and um, really taking that step for both their, their career and, and for the team in general. What about um, Kyra Cooney-Cross signing for Arsenal? How pleased were you for her first game? Did she speak to you about that move? Yeah, I was stoked for Kyra. I think it was after the semi-final, we were actually just sitting on the field together, just sort of taking it all in and she just came and sat with me and I just said, like, what's next? And she just had no idea. She was just, oh, I'm not really sure yet. And she's such a shy little kid. And she's learnt so much from being around older players um, on the Matildas. And to see her come into her own in the World Cup um, and the World Cup that she had was so unreal. And I'm so pleased that she's come over and made this big move for herself. Um, and I know that Arsenal was definitely after her and um, it was always on her radar and you know she really wanted to go there. So um, for that to work out, yeah, I'm really pleased for her. It is a big club. Can she live up to the growing expectation that's upon her, do you think? Yeah, of course. I think you know, it's always going to take some growing pains. It has for all of us that have come into the league. Um, it's very different to the Australian league. Um, but yeah, I think you can see the way she's grown into herself um, in the national team. I think she'll do exactly the same with Arsenal and um, yeah, I think there's a lot of success coming away. You're in London, she's in London. Have you been talking to her? Have you helped her kind of settle in at all? Uh, not, not too much at the moment. I think Caitlin and Steph have her under their wing at the moment and sort of helping her out. Um, but I'm sure we'll all meet up very soon and um, have breakfast or something, sure. And tell us, why should people watching this, maybe they're new supporters to the WSL having watched you guys in the summer, why should they be supporting West Ham? Oh, why not? <laughs> Good response. No, yeah. I think we're, we're a very hard-working team. Obviously, we don't have um, you know the biggest stars of WSL like some other teams, but um, you know we're always working hard for each other. Um, we always want the best for each other, and I think you can really see that on the field. Um, and I just think it's an unreal team to get behind. So why not? And they've got you. And they've got me. <laughs> why not? <laughs>